up, my dudes? It's Demi, and good evening from Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Tonight, we are going to be dining at Territory Lounge. Lounges in Disney are a great option because you do not need a reservation. It is a walk-up, first-come, first-served basis where you can get great drinks and yummy bites. And here at Territory Lounge, they are open from 4 to 10 p.m. You do not need to be a resort guest to come here or to any lounge in Disney World. And I have actually never dined here before. And what's awesome is that there is a brand new snack menu. So I thought we would come, get a drink and a couple of new snacks and see if this is a place that you should put on your list when you come to Disney World or Wilderness Lodge. So let's get in there, let's get to snacking and drinking and let's go get into some hijinks. Territory Lounge is open daily from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. No reservations, walk-in only. It's right next to Artist Point. So this ramp goes to Artist Point, but those stairs go up into the lounge or you can take the ramp and then make a left into the lounge before Artist Point. Artist Point is that character dining with Snow White, the Evil Queen, and Dopey and Grumpy, and I have a full video of it. I will link it for you here. It's a wonderful character dining experience. So here is the Territory Lounge. I'm gonna tell you, it is small, and so if you really wanna come here, definitely come during like not busy meal hours or even late night, sometimes this can get busy, you know, because it's a bar. And you may have to wait if you want to have like a seat like this. I actually had to wait a little bit before I got my seat. But if you want to eat, I recommend waiting for it. I just kind of like waited over there until they cleaned off a table and I sat down. Let's check out the menu. First is their cocktail page and they have a bunch of different ones. They have whiskey based, vodka based, gin, bourbon, even a sangria. I think there's something for everyone. Well, maybe not everyone, but I think there's a lot of good stuff on here. They do have bottled beers and wine here as well. And don't forget, it is a full bar, so options are endless. Let's check out the shareable bites. We first have that territory popcorn sampler, the artisanal cheese and charcuterie, loaded baked potato flatbread, a salmon run, which is a salmon flatbread, smoked salmon, salmon grab, that sounds good. Bacon on the wire, which is the candy bacon, deviled eggs, bourbon drizzle. And then you have the bone and breathe, roasted bear, bone marrow, honey baked brie. Oh, that sounds really good too. They all sound good. I'm gonna get two of them. These are all brand new. I can't wait to try a couple. I did get a drink. This is that orange spice sangria, which is a Cabernet Sauvignon, Contro liqueur, apple cider, and house made spiced orange syrup top with a little orange slice. I love a sangria. Let's give it a try. It's $16 for a sangria. Cheers. It has some good flavor. You can really taste the apple cider in there. It's not like crazy sweet, which is good, but no $16 good. It's sangria. Usually to me sangria is like it's pretty cheap and it's like, you know, it's juice for adults. It's wine that's made into juice for adults and I love it so I think it's like tasty but it's nothing like completely crazy there's also nothing really in here besides the orange slice so it's not like a great sangria it's totally fine I don't think it's worth $16 I probably would recommend getting like an actual like alcoholic like hard liquor based cocktail but it's still pretty tasty and I'm I will enjoy it still cheers here is the first food item we are getting. This is the loaded baked potato flatbread bacon potato cream cheese dill for $17. I love a loaded like potato thing. I think this looks really good. I can't wait to give it a try. The crust looks crispy. I am hoping it's crispy. Okay, it's super dense, super heavy. Okay, so I really wish the bread was way more crispy because it was really floppy. It's not holding the pizza at all together. Um, and it's just, there's no texture and crunch and that like, that but that taste of the bread when you're biting it, it's just totally lost. It's just there to be a vehicle to give you the stuff on top. And that's unfortunate because the huge part of flatbread is the flatbread. Um, I think that the onion on top plays a really good flavor in this with the cream, but to me, overall, this really just lacks flavor. Like, it's fine, but it really could use something else. It's very plain tasting. I wish maybe there was 
just something extra more maybe with like a sauce to give it a little extra like zhuzh but it's very plain this it's it has like it, when you get that onion it definitely helps but it really just tastes like potato and then occasionally you get the sauce and it helps a little but it's not that flavorful with the sour cream I'm sorry the cream cheese sauce like maybe I think that needed more flavor and it would have been better maybe more dill and obviously like I said the bread really needed to be crispier um, I took a piece from the middle it looks like this outside no I was gonna say this outside piece but the, on the actual bottom part like that's not this crust it's very soft that's unfortunate and I love a crispy bread anytime I eat like what I did via Napoli, you should go watch my via Napoli video because just saying, only get here. Bread on pizza has to be crispy, it has to be able to hold the pizza, it can't be floppy. And I know this is super heavy, but there is just absolutely no hold, and it's very like it's just not crispy at all, it's like barely even there. It's okay, I don't hate it, I just don't love it. I don't know if I really recommend it, I think it's fine. Here is our second snack, and I had to go for it. I had to go for the charcuterie board. I am a charcuterie fiend. <laughs> I eat this a lot with my husband, and I can't believe I'm getting this right now because we have just came off like an entire weekend of just charcuterie because <laughs> we get so much and just we don't want it to go bad. But this looks amazing. It looks like a really nice board, especially for $22. I love the presentation, of course. Let me show you what is here. First on the left is a capicola. Next is brazola, then salami and prosciutto. So everyone but the brazola is pork and the brazola is beef. Then on the bottom we have our fresh mozzarella. Next, this cheese is infused with honey. Next we have a crumble cheese. Finally, a blue cheese. In the back we have some grapes, some pickled cauliflower and carrots, some pickles, and honeycomb and honey. And then these crackers that I have here today are actually not what normally comes on this board, but they ran out of the ones that do. And this is kind of like an upgraded, better version of what it's normally here. So I am very excited and happy to dig into the charcuterie. One thing I love about charcuterie, it's like a choose your own adventure. And like each time you get a bite, it's a different combination of something. So I took the bread, I took the capicola, a little honey, that honey based cheese and a grape. Let's try it. Mm, that capicola is so good. Really, really well seasoned. A little spice, not spicy, but a little spice. That cheese is very tasty with that honey infused. It's just a nice flavor. The bread is super crispy. I am so happy. I just have to show you this. I just, I'm so impressed by the fact that they're giving you three slices of meat each and then, and cheese. And like that's, for 22, this is like a really good, deal at Disney and you get a lot here like I know maybe you're thinking oh it's a few slices of meat like this goes a really long way especially when you have all these fixings with it it's really good and a fun presentation and I think this is just one of the best deals in Disney the charcuterie board over at Baseline Tap House in Hollywood Studios is also pretty good but nothing like this this is very impressive and I'm just I, very impressed with the price. Let's do a little fresh mozz and brazola. That fresh mozz tastes awesome. It's super, super flavorful and soft and just perfect. The brazola, very, very tasty. It's a very subtle flavor, but goes really well paired with a cheese. Again, that bread, excellent. A little salami with this crumble cheese. Mmm. Oh yeah. Salami is perfect, perfect flavors. That cheese though is excellent. A little salty, a little like, not stinky, because it's not, but like when you taste it, it's a little sh sharp. It's more, it's sharp when you taste it. It's really good. Guys, I, I'm so impressed by this plate. I like this is, I'm gonna like take this home with me because this is like gonna, this could last me for like multiple meals because it's just like never ending and I, I love it. I think the honeycomb was really delicious. I love the pickled vegetables. I love a grape with cheese. I actually like, even like on my days that I'm not eating charcuterie, I realize sometimes I'm still eating charcuterie. Like do you know those like cheese and fruit boxes from Starbucks? I love those. I eat those a lot because cheese 
and grapes are so good and this was so good with that honey cheese i love this board so much this is a great meal and honestly it's really not busy and tonight is like a really busy night because the parks close really early and i can't believe it's pretty empty in here it's like 8 30 now i think this is such a hidden gem of a place i love that i think the drink I got wasn't like obviously maybe the best, but it's like a nice bar. The cocktails I see look really good. And there's a lot of like great new things on the starter menu. I'm honestly very impressed and I would love to come back here very soon to try more things. Well, my dudes, that was the Territory Lounge here at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. I had a great time. I cannot believe it took me so long to come here. I want to come back and try more things on the menu, different drinks, but that charcuterie is unbelievably great. It's a great deal. I think definitely one night you should come get a drink, get a charcuterie plate, and then go sit by the fireplace and have just a relaxing evening here in this very busy environment. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notifications so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram, Magical Hijinks. Check out my Patreon. Become a patron. You'll get exclusive bonus content, exclusive lives, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World by Disney for Foodies help with trip planning and so much more and you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content here on this channel and until next time my dudes i hope you guys get into some hijinks very very soon Hubba bye